How you doing? Killer Quad here. We're going to uh, be doing a little demonstration today. I'm going to show you the difference between the brand new Hauser grab bar, drop grab bar for cross country racing, and uh, one of the most popular uh, drop grab bars on the market. Uh, this was originally a, a DMR XC grab bar. Uh, but the Morpheus quit making them. There's another company out there that uh, grabbed them. They're, uh, they are now distributing them. Uh, this was a fantastic grab bar for all the years that I had it. But uh, this new Hauser grab bar, when it came out, I, I think it's going to take the cake. I think people are going to be very happy with it. Let me grab it real quick. It has uh, mounts and everything. Mount up. As your exhaust mount for your uh, 06 and newer Hondas uses uh, high strength pop rivets to hold your uh, plastic mounts on. There's a couple of, only a couple other uh, manufacturers out there that are putting the plastic mounts on the grab bars. Uh, it's a love hate relationship. Uh, built fantastic, very strong. Uh, I have no complaints on it at all, but. Uh, I do have a couple complaints. We'll get to those later. Very minor, very easy to take care of. I took care of them. So let's get into uh, putting it on real quick, shall we? Let me see here. First thing I want to do is I like to take a measurement of the old grab bar, where it stands from the ground to the center of the grab bar, looking about 28 three quarter inches off the ground to the center of the bar. It's really good compared to anything else out there. Plus it's really wide, gives you a lot to grab a hold of. Uh, so let's get into it. First of all, I've got to pull the mounts off. Everybody else with 06 and newer Hondas, they put a grab bar on that wasn't meant spe specifically for their quad. I had to cut the old exhaust mount off and reuse it. Good grab bar. Good spot. This one's easy. Hope y'all are liking my uh, background music. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Just listening to the radio is all. Get bored. Okay, as you saw, this one was just that easy to put on because I don't have to fight to get the plastic mounts lined up properly. I don't have to fight to get the exhaust mount put back in here makes it all very very easy let's give her a measure too let her settle Ooh, look at that 27 inches 27 inches to the center of the grab bar. Nice drop compared to the to the other one. I actually prefer this one because I'm a short guy. I got short legs. I got short arms. I am strong, but it's still really hard to pick these things up when they're full of mud. Throw them out of ruts. So I'm fond of this one. Very good construction. 
Okay, next thing. Hauser brings you, or sells you, with the grab bar, you get a number plate. No, it's not all cut up. I did that earlier, just to get it out of the way. They also send you 3 16 stainless steel pop rivets. That's what you're supposed to use to drill through this and pop rivet them into the grab bar. I don't like that idea. I spoke with them about it. They said they were going to think about maybe changing it because in cross country, you get a lot of people hitting you in the rear end. Not on purpose. It just happens. You happen to break your your number plate and you gotta replace it, man you gotta drill them pop rivets out and you gotta of course throw your number plate away, pop rivet new ones on. I got something easier. What I wound up doing was I drilled these two holes out, your mounting holes, I drilled them out, 17 30 second drill bit, and I drilled this out, exact same. Before I did that, I took the measurements here and I cut myself out a couple of notches. It fits tight right now. I mismeasured a little bit, but guess what? It fits. So, this is my idea. This is what I'm going to do. I just got some standard Honda bolts, same ones that you use in your rear plastics, preferably have full threads. I actually cut these down a little bit, so they're going to fit a little bit better. Nice tight fit. Actually got threaded in. Now, the one thing that I would do, I'm not doing right now, because uh, I don't have any, is I would use nylock nuts on the back of this, just to make sure they, they stay forever and always. For demonstration purposes, though, I'm just using some real quick, nice, fitting flange nuts. There it is. How's your grab bar? Take a look at it. Fits great. Really nice low drop. Number plate from behind. It's protected pretty well. Still be able to see it. It'll be legal in your upper classes. Nice fit. Nice fit. All right, that's the Hauser grab bar. I'm very pleased with it. Get a hold of uh, any of your Hauser dealers or anybody. They run about $119. Prices should be coming down over time if they start selling uh, more aluminum products as they start making more aluminum products. The other grab bar that I had on here before, uh, the, the more popular one, runs uh, about $75 if I remember correctly. Uh, you do not get a number plate. You do, however, with the new ones, you do get the crossbar to attach a number plate to, but you don't get a number plate, so add about seven to ten bucks on for that. But you know, I, I I'm, and you also don't get your exhaust mount and stuff like that. I, I'm really, really happy with the Housers, and uh, I think they're going to be a uh, great grab bar as time goes on. So, thanks, guys.